Sammy. This whole shit trying to take niggas out. Like. Back at it again, you two. This time, um, I don't know. I felt like I needed to remove this a long time ago. I want to put some gauges right here. So I've never seen a tutorial for this yet. Like I've been searching for all over for it, and nobody has a tutorial. So let me show y'all what I started. I already got half of the shit dismantled. <coughs> okay, let's gonna. I'm gonna show you the reverse of what I did. My civic people out there, 96 to 98 civic people out there. As far as this. Technical difficulties, all right, here we go. Get that, you wanna, you wanna get this over top of this, slide that under there. Be able to push that right up in there. Bam, brand new. There's three screws on this side and three screws on the other side. Six screws. I already got all the screws out, so I'm just gonna pop this off like so. this from auto to manual mod. Jesus Christ. Well, uh, on to the next. Okay, so, see the assembly here. There's two screws on this side. Two screws on that side, as far as what I can see. And I think that would be all. So, I'm gonna get to unscrewing these. Those two, and those two. Four screws taken out. Go ahead and pull that out now. Didn't know your cup holder assembly would have came off too, but okay, where's the wire? Oh, look at that, we're not even plugged in. And there you have it. Removal of 96 to 98 Civic cassette player. Okay, so you want to take the whole assembly out. Now, there's two screws on this side. There's two screws on that side. And there's also... Uh, let me see how many. One, two, three, 
four, five, six. It's fucking cold. <laughs> but we're gonna do this anyway. So all together you got ten screws to take off. So let's get to doing I wasn't even gonna do this shit today. It's more like spur of the moment. Damn, I can't break this screw. There we go. Got the first screw cracked on this part here. Let's get the second one. Second screw. Man. The other side. Get these two in there. <laughs> oh hell no. About to strip the last motherfucking screw on the side. Hell no. Biggest screwdriver. Stripped fucking screw. Now for these th screws. Look at that. Bitch came sliding right out. The bitch just slid right out. So now I just have the assembly. Alright, being that everything is out now, I guess I'm gonna show y'all how to get everything back together. So, uh, and the reason we had to um loosen some of these screws, I guess you had to get the tension off the assembly from holding it in. So whatever screws is loose, I guess, you could um, go and tighten those back. Got those all nice and tight now. So now we're gonna um, put the assembly back in for when I'm ready for my gauges. I might just get rid of this cup holder too because this shit doesn't, for some reason, this shit doesn't clank down. I guess it's, the latch is broken. I don't know what the fuck. All right, now to get your assembly back into place. Simply just go to the two mountain points. You got two mountain points on both sides. Two right there. And two right there. So let's get those in and make everything look fresh again. Got that all fastened down and secure. So now it's time to put on the center console. Well, my phone's about to die, so I'm going to end this short. But you basically do the reverse of what I did. Okay. You come here. Okay. You wanna come up top? Oh, yeah. You wanna come up there? Find the hole. Make sure that's secure. Yeah. We'll screw all the way up top. One in the middle. It's the same on the other side. And grab this. Under. Slide that bitch right up in there. Now you'll have another screw to fasten. Right there, and it's the same on both sides. So six screws to fasten, and bam. One thing I want to tell you guys that screw right there, getting that in there is a bitch because of the way this lever is right here. 
the chair is angled and you can't pull the chair back anymore, but finished product. All you gotta do is screw your shift knob back on and bam, we lit. Yeah.